Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It's Rachel here from Makers Gonna Learn, your ultimate die cutting community. And we are here to show you guys how to seal your mugs. So this is if you guys have a die cutting machine and you have a vinyl decal on your mug and you want to seal it either you know for yourself or maybe for a client or something like that, we wanna show you how and share with you the products that you could use to do so. Uh, we're really excited about today's video and we hope that you are as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. Now, there are several ways you can seal your mugs or you do not have to. Um, I love to say if you guys are a fan of the holidays or you're a fan of having you know mugs around the holidays and things, if you have a favorite mug and you want to be able to reuse it, you can add a vinyl decal uh, for Christmas and then after Christmas is over, you can take it and peel it off and then reuse that mug for something else, play something on there for New Year's, Valentine's Day, Easter, you know, Fourth of July, all types of stuff so that you have like a year round mug. So in that case, don't seal it. You don't have to. You don't need to if you want to reuse it. But if you maybe have a business, which by the way, if you guys are a yearly member with Makers Gonna Learn, we offer three free e-courses, one of which is how to build a business. And we also love to pair that with a free commercial license for you guys, meaning you guys can sell any project that you make using our cut files and fonts for your own profit. So that is super exciting. If you guys would like to do that, again, click the very first link in the description below to learn more. Anyways, um, if you are using this and going to sell it to somebody and give it to a client or a customer, we recommend you guys to seal it and have it, you know, kind of permanent for them as well. So the two ways that you can seal your mug are with dishwasher safe Mod Podge or polycrylic. Uh, we do love like a spray polycrylic and epoxy, but that's just kind of not ethical for a mug like this. So these are the two options that we recommend most. Um, I do have other videos on how to seal vinyl decals, but the questions we got in those were, uh, we got so many questions and they were super specific to products and things. So I wanted to make some videos um, on the separate ways to uh, seal decals on different types of products. And that way you guys can uh, maybe get more information and get more answers to your questions. So feel free to ask any questions you have down below and I will answer them. Thank you guys for everything you do. But we are gonna be using dishwasher safe Mod Podge today and I have a couple reasons for that. Um, number one, it will create a better seal on our mug than the polycrylic will. The polycrylic uh, really, in all honesty, doesn't need to be put in the microwave. It doesn't really need to be exposed to too much heat. So if your dishwasher has like a high heat setting, you might not wanna do that. You just kinda of have to be careful with this kind of stuff. But this dishwasher safe Mod Podge is completely made for this type of project. And another reason why we like it is because it's a little bit thicker. Uh, we like that thick seal on it. We want it to almost feel smooth when you rub your hand across it. Um, that's how you know you have an amazing seal on your decal when it's like completely encased to where it's kind of just feels smooth all the way around. So we're going to be using that today. And another reason why we are is because this mug is um, the color of it's kind of it's not right white. It's a little bit off white but it is the perfect color for this because Mod Podge unfortunately shows brush strokes. Um, so you might not want yours to show brush strokes, but uh, that is why we love the polycrylic because if you have like a black mug, for instance, or a type of mug where you don't want to see those brush strokes, this polycrylic is an amazing way to seal it. Um, but since we're using this color mug, you can't even really see the, um, you know, the brush strokes. So that's what we're going to use today. We're going to be using our dishwasher safe Mod Podge and all these products will be linked down below for you guys. And I do apologize, we are not gonna be cutting or applying vinyl to a mug today. So uh, if you guys want that video, let me know because we do have one all about that. But today we were just gonna focus on sealing it. So if you wanna know how to make this um, you know, decal for this mug and how to apply it, that is another video. Today, we're gonna show you how to seal it. So let's go ahead and jump into all the supplies you'll need to seal this guy. Okay, so we have our mug with our decal on it. We have our dishwasher safe Mod Podge, a paintbrush. This is a softer bristle paintbrush. You don't want anything too coarse when you're trying to seal something because you're trying to seal it really kind of inconspicuously and really evenly. And when you have a very coarse bristle brush, it's hard to do that. 
uh, very well. Uh, we also have a piece of scrap paper underneath us so that we, you know, in case we get any Mod Podge on our work surface or anything, it's not the end of the world. And then we also have our a pump bottle with alcohol and a paper towel because it is so important to clean your surface that you're working with before you seal it or anything like that. So we are going to be sealing um, ours today. So we're going to clean it. And this, guys, is an amazing cut file for makers to learn. One of almost 4,000 digital cut files that we have. We also have over 400 fonts. Those are for our yearly members. We have printable guides, access to a members only Facebook group, free um, e-courses, commercial licensing, and so much more guys. So if you guys have a die cutting machine and you want to be inspired and educated, click that link down below to see how. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and clean this guy up. Open up our alcohol here. Get our paper towel, a couple of pumps there, and I'm just going to clean this whole thing because we're going to be sealing the whole thing. You don't have to seal the whole thing if you don't want to. We're going to be sealing it all, um, not including the handle, that is. We're not going to be uh, doing the handle. Um, so now I'm just going to kind of wipe off any uh, anything and let that dry. Now alcohol does dry really fast, which is great. Um, now, when this cures, guys, you will be able to place this, of course. Uh, you can put it in the dishwasher, you can put it in the microwave for small amounts of time. It's able to take some heat, but not like a ton of heat, so don't go crazy with it. Um, but this is a fantastic product. The biggest downside of this product is the cure time. The cure time for this, guys, is 28 days. Now, I know that that sounds literally ridiculous, which is also why if you are selling and you're in a pinch, you can use the polycrylic. However, this is just a much better product uh, for this very type of um, sealing that we're doing today on this mug. So that's why we like to use the Mod Podge. It's just going to have a, an amazing seal on it, a really good finish, and it's going to make this mug last forever. So the way that we're going to do ours today is three light coats over uh, the mug. Now, you don't have to do three coats over the entire mug. You can do one coat over the entire mug and then two more coats over your decal if that's what you want to do. Or you can do three light coats over the entire thing. The reason why we're not just going to be sealing just the decal is because we do want this mug to have the same texture all the way around. And it was sealing something like this with such a thick seal sealer like Mod Podge, it is a little more inconspicuous when it's all the same texture, which is why we're doing it that way. So feel free to do it how you want to. This is just the way that we're doing it today. And I do want to say when you're making mugs, make sure um, you know which hand you drink it from. I am a righty, so I drink my coffee this way. So I always have my decals facing out. So I'm going to share with you a little secret what we're doing today to help with this uh, because this Mod Podge is not food safe. Now that's not saying it's toxic. It just doesn't say anywhere on the bottle that this stuff is food safe. And I don't, you know, that's fine. I don't think that that means that this stuff will kill you if you accidentally, you know, drink from a side with, you know, Mod Podge on it. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm just saying if you are wanting to be super careful about where you put this and you don't want to uh, have your lips touch anywhere that this could be, even after it's cured or anything like that, then here's a little hack for you. You know what side you drink from. I always drink from this side. I'm always drinking it from my right hand here. So I'm going to add sealer all around the sky except right around here. I'm going to leave a lip open right here where I will sip my coffee in the morning so that my lips do not have to be on this Mod Podge, especially if you guys are super concerned about safety there. So that's a great little hack for you guys. Now, if you have it on both sides, I recommend making the decal a little bit smaller and that way you can just have a little bit of a lip of above here where you don't add any Mod Podge on both sides if you do choose to add a decal to both sides. So now that we have covered that, we're going to go ahead and jump into applying this. We're just going to open it up and we're just going to start. So I'm going to dip this in here just like that and I'm going to apply this all over this mug except in that little spot that I told you guys about. And I'm not going to do the handle but I'm going to do around the handle. And this is a great product, guys. It lasts 
forever if you can just get over that cure time because it is not a great cure time I gotta say it's not fun waiting you know 30 days 28 days basically a whole you know month for your mug to be done but think about it guys in the grand scheme of things once it's done it's gonna last forever which is awesome so we're just gonna go through here I'm gonna get in the middle of our little mug there middle of our handle and you want to do kind of shorter brush strokes um, just because it's going to look a little bit better. And make sure you start off with a really, really clean paintbrush here, guys. If your brush is a little bit dirty or it's been mixed in with other paintbrushes and it might have some dust or little fuzzies on it or something on this mug that's pretty much white, you're going to see those. So make sure that you start off with a good clean brush as well. And I even see some, so I'm going to try and grab these and wipe these off much better okay now keep just working your way around here and then once you get closer to the side where you drink from you're going to stop and then make sure you make that lip around so i'm just going to turn the mug around and i can see right now what i'm needing to do so i'm going to flip that mug around now i drink from this area here so what i'm going to do is just kind of sweep that over and around just like that and I see where I went with that too. So I'm gonna come in here as I'm already here and just kind of work around that so I won't be messing with it later because I could easily, guys, not pay attention and <laughs> totally add some Mod Podge right there. So once you have this whole thing covered, make sure you have the bottom covered and everything like that. All the areas that you want covered need to be covered then you are good to go guys. So all you have to do after this is done is let this dry for about half an hour um, and then you're gonna add two more coats. Now again, you don't have to add these coats everywhere. You can just add them to the decal, but we want our mug to look consistent. So we're gonna add um, coats all around and then these next two you can just add to your decal if you so choose so, or if you choose to do so, excuse me. Um, but yeah, do it however you'd like. Make sure you get the rim and everything except for where you're drinking from. I hope you guys liked that hack there. And it's going to look awesome. So once you have it, you can look around. Make sure you got the bottom well and everything like that. Not the bottom bottom, but like, you know, you got your little edge good. And make sure all your brush strokes are relatively in the same, uh, going the same way. Because that's another thing about this Mod Podge. It is so thick that you will be able to tell which direction your brush strokes go. So that's something to think about as you are um, applying this down. But now guys, you're just gonna set that off to the side for about 30 minutes. Look, I got Mod Podge on my hand. <laughs> and then once that 30 minutes are up, you guys are gonna add two more coats, either just on your, around your decal or all over the mug again. And then allowing 30 minutes to dry in between after your last coat, Oh, it's got a cure for quite some time, guys. It's got a cure for 28 days. I recommend setting a reminder on your phone to tell you that it's going to be, um, you know, like set a reminder for 28 days that it will be time for my mug to be done, something like that, so that you guys don't forget because that's so something I would do. And then I recommend setting this somewhere clean, dry, a pile where kids can't get to it or pet hair can't get stuck on it or something like that. Um, but not somewhere where you're totally going to forget where you put it, you know. So uh, definitely uh, stick it somewhere safe and sound for 28 days. Now, it's not going to be like sticky for 28 days. It's going to be pretty darn hard and in good condition um, and hardened and cured after a couple of days. But it just takes 28 days to get that process for this to be so cured that it can be put in the dishwasher. So that's just something to think about. I hope that you all enjoyed that. It was so easy to do, guys. So easy. Guys, that was so easy. What did you all think? It really was that simple. You guys can seal your mugs and make them last forever. Again, if you have any questions, leave those down below and give us a like. Don't forget to click the very first link in the description below to see what you're missing with Makers Gonna Learn. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video.